Hi judges, we are Tim from SMK Pangalan Babar. I'm team leader, Muhammad Akil, and this is our friend, Safira and Mia. The reason why we joined this YIC competition is because we want to introduce our AI project that help improve our community's safety. In line with this team, AI for social good. Let's move to our problem statement. The absence of an early disaster detection system threatens lives and causes severe losses. According to the World Meteorology Organization, early warning can reduce up to 30% of disaster impact, including trees to live and property loss. Therefore, there is an urgent for a faster, affordable, and accessible early warning system for communities. In Malaysia, floods are monitored by date and data. The challenge is that some areas still don't have enough station, so the alerts can be a little bit small. Huh, that's true. For tsunami, we use Saan and F, the national warning system. But sometimes, the buoys have technical issues which make hazard threats bombs. Inland side, JMG is in charge. The system works, but the coverage is limited and the siren is reached near nearby places. As for earthquakes, JMG records them well, but the weakness is that the early warning isn't possible. Our project is an AI-powered early warning natural disaster using ESP32. It reads data from sensors such as water level sensor and ground vibrations. When the when the danger is detected, the system will trigger a first buzzer alarm on site, send direct notifications to community smartphone via telegram, and display live data on LCD screen. Our system is low cost, practical, fast, and efficient. It can be installed in school, village, or cult communities. The ESP32 with AI analyze multiple data in real time and send and send automatic response making it user-friendly and scalable. If vibration sensor detect early signs of landslide, the ESP32 will analyze the data and response according as shown in the video. <coughs> After that, if the sensor detect an accurate reading, the ESP32 will also analyze the data, send real-time monitoring, and provide the same type of the response demonstrated in the video. <coughs> if the wave reaches medium level, the LCD will display as shown in the video. The LED will light up, and quick notification will be sent to the phone, so the, the community can be alert. For danger level, the LCD will display as shown in the video. The buzzer will sound, the LED will light up, and the first notification will send to the phone. If the drainage level is at a moderate level, the LED will turn on, and the quick notification will send to the community to mobile fine, so they can be alert. If the drainage level reaches a danger level that causes float, the LCD will display as shown in the video. The buzzer and LED will both active, and urgent notification will send to the community. We believe that if we win these competitions, we will have the opportunity to future develop our project and make Malaysia first country have a high technology like AI, IoT, and smart sensor. In addition, our system aligned with the Sustainable Development Goal in support of SDG triggered health and well-being for protecting life and reducing disaster-related injuries. DG 11, Sustainable City and Communities by Building Safer and More res Resilient Communities. And SDG 13, Primate Actions by Threatening Disaster Preparedness and Response. Our project not only addresses disaster challenge, but also inspires students and the community to explore STEM. By using AI, IoT, and Smart Sensor, it supports SDG3, Quality of Education, and 20th Century Learning, PAK21. Fostering creativity, critical thinking, collaboration, and digital literacy in school and community. 